Yo guys, what is up? Zorain here with another Temtem rank series video, and this time we're gonna be using Temtem Showdown to uh, make the video. Uh, so yeah, about about Temtem Showdown. Yeah, you already guys know that it's free, and I thought maybe we should just use it. See, use it as our new like intro for our intros and outros when we play this game, right? Uh, but yeah, it, it's it's been a while, and it's it and for good reason. I did not want to play during a blue screen meta. I just I just didn't want to play. Like I I definitely did not want to um have the headache of running into blue screen lock. Like I I, I if I'm gonna get on Temtem right, I want to play the game, and blue blue screen doesn't let you play the game. So I mean at that point, why be why get on and play the game if it, if I'm not gonna get to play the game right? So. That was a that was a thing, but with ten, with blue screen now a little bit tuned down, it's not as bad to run into anymore. So I decided, you know what? Let's get back into the grind. Let's get back into play, making videos. I know you guys probably missed out on my videos. I know some of you enjoyed this content, so let's just get back in full force and get those videos. I also have some some short ideas that I'm cooking up in in the background. Um, I have to figure out how to make shorts again, though. So that might be a bit before I can um, make those uh, uh, shorts, but they're coming, they're coming. But anyways, um, let's get into the team that I'm going to be using today. So I was going to use the Capra team one more time, but I'm actually going to use a new team that I kind of just want to use because, um, you know, we just got an event where we got to use a, we, we, we had to do a Chimerian radar. And I got lucky and ended up with two Chimerians and one of them was really, really hot fixable. Especially with me not really playing the game as much uh, the past few weeks. So I was actually able to hotfix it and perfect it. And now I get to use it for Luma. So for Showdown, I mean. So you know what? Why not? Let's make a team with it and see if we can make it do well. So here's the team. We are running a Chimerian. A Crystal Plume Gatling, Frown Whip, Sharpening Glass Blade for priority. Uh, just, you know, simple stuff. We've got just some bulk um, we're, we're faster than Gozi at the very least, so if we're up against a Gozi, we can always get the hit on them before they hit us. Only 273 in, uh, into attack, but that's more than enough to take out Gozis in one hit, as long as they don't have any bulk. And we're kind of rely, kind of relying on sharpening to give, give us that plus two, um, you know, that offensive boost if we need it. It's already a pretty bulky Tem, so I'm hoping that it can take hits. And we have bait just because, you know, bait is always a really good item on Chimerian. So that's what we're doing with Chimerian. That item was here. Now, um, I needed something that was like a water tem you know, to kind of help out against fires or earth. And Platinum actually fits really nicely here. It's with the Aqua Bully Hell, Aquatic World with Toxic Shadow, Rod and Goo, all that good stuff. Enough, out enough speed to outspeed Nezla with Rod and Goo in case it tries to like, you know, Aquatic Whirlwind or Water Blade, and I could get the Rod and Goo off onto them before they take out my Tem, if I'm if I'm able to, if the opportunity arises. Um, then we have Grunder, and Grunder here is also full built with Oak and Attack, and a little bit of Defense. So the idea here is that since we're running Grunder, I mean I'm sorry, Platymus. I am going for um you know rotten goose energy here. And I'll I'll explain a little bit more about why Garunder's on this team after I get more into the team. So it's just normal noxious bomb, beef up, defibrate, psych uh Paizo and some thick skin just to in case we deal with some wins. Need like a swap in for win. Which we have a couple of swap ins anyways, but you know, it's good to have. Now we have a Minotaur here with um, a little bit of bulk, a little bit of stamina, some decent speed. I forgot why I put it at 198. Might not be the best speed here. I, I, I remember I was going for 198. I just don't remember why. Because I, it's not that I don't remember why, it's because I actually forgot to check why I wanted it at 198. So that's uh, silly of me for getting to check. Yeah, I could check that right now for us, just to be sure why I wanted to do that. Yeah, it's 297, so 297 speed after a plus 2 from Rusher. So that's kind of like the idea here. So 
I should be pretty fast after one rush, rush, rush your proc. So we got the adrenaline rush just in case we need it. So you have Kinu and Chimurian here, of course, but you never know. You might need the adrenaline shot. And if we don't, we can consistently keep our natures in with it, then we probably will switch to Taser. Now I'm also running Fake Beard Hazrat. Hazrat, honestly, I can't see myself not running Hazrat this season because there's just so many things right now. I've seen a lot of natures and not only natures, specifically nature Koish. Shout out to Bruto for running this abomination of a, of a team. He knows he knows what he's running, and that's kind of why I'm running so many toxics. It's because of nature Koish, and I'm 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 just terrified of having to run into it and having no answers to it. So this is why I'm running Hazra, this is why I'm running Garunder, and this is why I'm running um Fatimus. I have three different options in order to fight. I think I also think Koish at max speed. Yeah, max speed is 272, so I, um, funny enough, if Vladimir gets through and I get some synergy, I can actually just pop one of the Koishes because I'm one speed higher than Nature Koish. So that's something to, to remember as well. Now, we also have Magmut here. Magmut is another one that I've been wanting to use again. And we're going to be using a special attacking Magmut. Now, we don't have a lot of special attack event. Well, we have a ton, but it's not a, like max special attack. I'm actually running just 368. Um, it's in, I did some calcs and... Um, it really depends on their threats too, but it should be able to KO Ophis or at least, you know, two, KO, two hit KO them. And then I just give them a little bit of defense bulk. Because if we're going to be trying to hit Manus buff, then the Manus buff should give me the special defense coverage. So I kind of wanted to focus more on its defense uh, just in case. And then it just has a massive amount of HP and obviously no speed and just stamina. So this one is just trying to get those soul shells. Fire soul is really just there for fire coverage. And then Soul Shout is probably going to be the main button that we'll be smacking. Magma as well is good if you need some burns. So that's why I went with that. So that's why I have my Magma. I mean, my Magma is mainly there for fire coverage. I, I kind of wanted another fire them to cover me. Because I, like I said, I feel like nature's crystals are like everywhere right now. So I felt Magma was pretty good. And also same with Hazrat. I needed like some toxics and fire coverage and hazard just fits that perfectly runders a good coverage for toxics and electricity because i need to deal with waters and um minotaur's just there mainly for hasty lunch synergy and just hitting waters as well so we have a lot of ways to deal with water thames um wind thames you know all we have pretty good coverage but the only thing we do have to worry about before we keep getting into the team is we have to get we have to worry about two rocks and volfies i believe and I think the one that we have to worry more about is Turok, because this team, as you can see, has four them's weak to to Earth and one weak to Wind. So Turok is pretty much like banned. Like I need to insta ban it if I see it. I do have workarounds. I feel like I do have ways to work around it though. So we'll we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. But um, speaking of which, this is supposed to be Fizzcope, not Specope. So. My bad, my mistake there. It's supposed to be physical, just in case. Um, I do want to talk about Magma a little bit more. I just want to say that if Magma Cannon doesn't see any real play, I feel like Block is the better option here. So we'll switch to Blocking if I if I feel by the end of the video that Block is better. But we'll see. Now we have Kinu here with Kaleidoscope and a little bit of defense spread. And this is more of a very supportive Kinu. There's Beta Burst, Hypnosis, Turbo, and Life of Sap. I, 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 I'm one that though, I just don't like not having a, a, an attack move on my supports. So if it's going to be a support, it can, I, I just need it just in case I need to also hit, you know, neutrals. I, I might have another Mento on the team, but that Mento has Black Hole and I have no Black Hole synergy. So this is kind of my like other one. And I forgot to change to Benefactor. Thank God I make these videos. So yeah, Benefactor is actually what we want to be using. Uh, the reason being is because I want to try to pair up with Magmu. Magmu gets hit, and it has three different sources of healing. So it'll have sources from Benefactor. It will get healed by Nut, Nut Bar and Fizzcoop if it's on the physical side, right? So it's got three different sources of healing if that's needed. So that's kind of what I'm trying to go for. And now if we, we have Kaladesco for Life or Sap, so we can heal our temps as well with regen and probably swap out. 
then last but not least we have shrine now I'm, I've, I've been digging this really fast hyper aggressive shrine that i've been running and with two mentals on the team this is actually pretty good and it's it's still just a really good support even with sacrifice gun blue barrier is really good quartz shield is amazing crystal deluge is nice for sleep and water cannon there's there's like four toxics it's just a no-brainer not to run shine right i mean water cannon so that's just you know the thing with shine shine is there as well to help magma or shimurian or you know anyone to get those um bulk going but anyways, right, this is the team hope you guys are going to enjoy the video let's get that grind back going and i will see you guys in the first battle peace until then all right guys we got our first battle and let me know how you guys see if the video if it looks okay i thought it looked kind of weird on, on obs but i think it looks fine now uh, just but let me know if you guys think it looks weird. If it does, then I'll go back straight to oh god that name. I'll go straight back to um using Temtem as my actual thing. The only thing I don't like about Shaolong is that I can't use my emotes. But you know that's that's gonna happen. I don't know why they banned why they banned Schwein so quick. Are they going for freeze or something? Am I am I missing something here? Okay, so what's stopping me from just banning Oshera and going Magmo? Nothing. <laughs> I, don't, I don't see why not. Magma looks pretty good here. I mean, like, yes, yeah, sure, Mastion's a kind of a scary thing, but not that bad. Yeah, it's just going to be Mastion. Maybe we could get um, Magma going this game. That'd be pretty cool. They 100% go straight for mud. This this Mushuk is gonna be a problem though. So it's gonna be a big problem. Oh, we have to ban. I'm sorry. I just I didn't even realize it. Yeah, we'll ban ban Volfi. Yeah, Hazard's getting banned, obviously, because to use his Gamerians, so I'll bring mines. Probably Garunder and... Yeah. So, the problem here is we have to deal with the Mushuk somehow. Mushuk is going to be a problem. So... Not, not looking forward to this Mushuk. So obviously they're probably gonna go straight for my homie on the side. So I'm gonna madness buff into a switch. Just took a runder here. Not really have a choice here. Much scary, very scary. But maybe Bangba could pull it off, you know? Oh that did a lot. Did more than I expected it to do. Okay. Uh, probably gonna want to switch out here, unless he switches out himself. No, he probably he probably goes into my mag move. Yeah, I'm gonna switch into Platymus here. Yeah. Could beef up, but I don't think that's going to do anything. I'm going to switch out. Yep, he stayed in because I would have... If he, if, he, if he swapped out, he would have swapped out first. Yeah, this this much is probably going to end up uh, winning the game. Yeah, that does a lot. This thing does a lot of damage, wow. Like, I know Grunder's not the most physical, heavy tem, but damn. That does a lot. Uh, 
It's gonna be it's gonna be a rough one. Sure. Um, how bad is it that I lost Gorunder here? Pretty bad. Magma took too much damage, that was a problem. I think yeah, Mushuk is gonna just carry the game. I mean there's not there's not much I can do. I can't cover every tenth in the game, man, with one team. He just goes into what, Golzi? Jamirian maybe? I have no idea. And Golzi. That's not who I thought he would go into. Uh Makes things a little bit more harder for me. I could try this and hope for the best. I don't think I live a wastewater. How much it's been doing to me. Okay, perfect. Still did a lot. That's okay. It's not tired. It's it's um the yeah, other trait. Which is nice to see, honestly. Just going for crystal. I kind of wanted to. I kind of wanted. I should have went for turbo, honestly. Turbo would have actually made more sense there. Yeah, turbo was the better play there. That was silly of me. Good damage, though. Does he switch into his Shimmerian now? I could Lifeful Sap. I hope. Oh, well, that's that's unfortunate. He has Quage. Of course he does. Of course he has Cage on his Mushuk. Wait, he went for that side too. Oh. Well, that's upsetty. Cage, turbo probably. He didn't over. Wait, he wait. He didn't overexert. Or, or, did, or maybe he did, and I'm just, like, tripping. Because I, I don't I don't get out of this now. That's unfortunate. At least I killed that off, but... Now Golzi just gets to kill me. Yeah, my hasty lunch won't go up before Golzi. Rough. Best thing I could try to do is like, I'll shout this. But I mean, he still has a full Chimera in the back, so I guess I lose this GG. That must have put too much work in. Yeah. Doesn't KO me, but I mean... Yeah. Not much I can do. When I saw the Mushik, I was just like, yeah, I don't think I'm winning this. <laughs> it's gonna make it too hard. Especially after that Water Blade damage. I didn't cock for Bastion, but yeah.
Oh well, GG. Not much I could do about that. All right, Let's see what we got here. Honestly, I don't know what kind of lead I could have gotten that that game. I think I was just pinned the team that he was running. Oh, there's another Mushuk. Mushuk seems to be a problem with this team. So, I guess I'll ban it. I'll ban Kinu here, right? I could have banned the bird, but I have like two fires, so I don't think I have to ban it. I think I think Magma could work this time, though. Magma looks okay into this. He could go double move flank, but I really care. Trimmer doesn't look like it wants to go into this game. There's too many things that kind of deal with it. Tons of things that can deal with it. I could go Magmu and maybe Swine. Swine seems okay here. If he goes double move flank, I'd go Kino. Okay. If that's what you want to play, then yes, I will go Shwine here instead. I think going Shine is better here. Yeah, Shine is better here. And then I think I want to ban either the Rikon or the Tolkien. Tolkien. Because then I could bring Duck for the Rikon. And yeah, we'll leave we'll leave Garunder yeah, in the back. So his plan here is to steal my my shrine from the looks of it. Oh. He did he got my shrine. Probably going for fruit barriers and stuff. But if that's the case, I'm just gonna man this buff into a wood barrier on this side. I have max speed, so I could lose the speed tire, which would be very sadness. Truly would be very sad. Yeah, that's not going to do a lot. Schwein's Horn. Okay. Wow. Schwein's Horn. Let's go. Of course he has Schwein's Horn, right? Well, that's uh, not good. Of course he does. Why wouldn't he have Schwein's Horn? I don't know where. Ridiculous. <laughs> of course he has it. Yeah, he's gonna of course show this. Oh boy. This is gonna suck for me. He might switch out into Rykon here now that Tremurian's out. But yeah, um, this this two guys gonna be a problem. That like, two vine is gonna be a problem. But I mean, how am I supposed to know he's gonna have nauseous nauseous bomb Schwein's horn here? Like, come on. And he stayed in too. Crazy.
Oh boy, I don't think I could do anything here. This is um, <laughs> it's just sad. Swine's horn, Nash's bomb ruined me there. Completely ruined me. He's probably gonna quart shield his Rikon now. I mean, there's not much else I can do. If this is Cage, I'm going to be so sad. This, this is horrible. Yep. I'm doomed. It's her. It's her. It's her. Uh, it's her reward. I'm doomed. It's Cage. Why? Why am I getting all these teams that are counter counter teaming me? Because it's Cage. It's not Cage. What the fudge? Are you kidding me? You run Hurry Ward and don't Cage. Okay. Guess I just die. Because I was I was planning to switch it to Magma, but you see you see that and you just don't. You don't, you don't think that they're gonna do that. Yeah. I think I just lose here. Don't see how I come back from this. I lost my only thing to deal with Golzi too. <gasps> how are you Horrywood and don't cage, man? What is this? What is this, man? There's no reason not to cage there. You're telling me you run Harry Ward and don't run cage? What? Doesn't kill. This probably kills me though. Oh, this kills me. It does not, but very close, very close. Rush. <laughs> this is so sad. This is so, so sad. If I if if I knew he had he wasn't gonna cage, I would have just swapped out. But how am I supposed to know this? You know. It's not something that I would know. He's running a, a Mouflanc with Hurry Ward and no cage. It's just... I don't get it. Because I have no way out of this now. Absolute no way out. Like, I could try doing this, but this is not going to help me. He still has what? Yeah, he still has a... Twine's horn, 2-1. Getting those counter teams in, aren't we now? <laughs> gotta have gotta have the matchmaking put the counter teams against me. Alright, well this is gonna be my final match. That's why I didn't want to play t t before. <laughs> God damn. Oh, I'm just not having a go No, this is exactly why I don't want to play Temtem. It's the same person. There's barely anyone playing the competitive the competitive ladder at, at all times. I see it when I watch my, my club mates, I see it when I play videos like I just got the same person. It's just been it hasn't even been more than two people. Like competitive is just complete dead. You guys can't com convince me otherwise. I mean, I think the the TMCS tomorrow invitation only has like nine people in it, which is ridiculous. It's supposed to be the top fifteen. Oh no, there's there's fifth supposed to be top sixteen actually, but only fifteen are in it. It's it's crazy. Ah, guess we'll just let the damn thing through.
What do I lead then? What do I lead? Because I'm blue again. I am blue again. Uh, I kind of need Hazard in this fight, don't I? And then I lose Magmut, though. Either Magmut or Platymus go. But I kind of need this. Yeah, Magmut's gone. They're all pretty bad to deal with. I have to bend Volfi. But yeah, this is going to be my last match. I don't want to keep only fighting the same two people over and over again. That's no fun for me. It is no fun. Especially because their teams just go really well into mine. So I'm just not going to win this one. I'm going to try, but I'm pretty sure I just... He just has to... He swaps out. He has to swap out. Why well, he doesn't swap out? If he doesn't, he's trolling. I don't think I'm fast in the 92, yeah. How badly do I need this? I don't need it for the thing. Yet. I'm just going to wing it. Screw it. This is really my only play. Okay, he did stay in. Crazy. Why would he stay in? I just don't get people, man. Why would he stay in on that? Like, I stay in because I thought, yeah, Chimurian kind of like kills like everything on my team. He kind of needs it. He just stays in. But he's also faster, so I don't know. Frankly, I do not know what to do here. Gozi's oh, he's max speed Gozi. Frankly, anything I switch into dies here. Yeah. So I might as well just go for Venomous. Just to get some damage off. Oh, he went for that? Oh, I guess because ha Volarin deals with the Hazret, but... I did a lot. Did I just lose here? Not enough damage. Oh, he's too fast. I can't do anything to it. Without Water Blade, I can't do anything here. The like best thing I could do is probably like switch into Shwine. Hope that he doesn't uppercut. Or he probably just like... Yeah, there's not much else I can do though. 
I have to I have to take out this this Rosie somehow. And I just lose here though. Cause Tulkin comes out, kills me, and I'm dead. Yeah. I mean his team just goes way too well into my team. I'll, I'll do one more for you guys, and if it's the same people, I'm probably not going to be making videos for a while again. <laughs> I'm probably only only my shorts that I've had planned. I don't I just don't see me playing competitive anymore. If it's going to be this dead. Because yeah, I can't do anything about this. Same person after only one guy is kind of ridiculous. Alright, final battle. Honestly, I'm not feeling confident with the Steve anymore. I don't know what I could do to adjust it. I really don't. They have Head Giant, they have Nesla. I can't go Magmu. I can't go Chim. Uh, I can technically go Chim. D did I not ban it? What the heck? What the heck? What happened to my ban? Uh... Maybe this? I'm not sure. Oh, it's Rage Tatoo. Okay, I think I lost this. <laughs> I just realized that. I didn't even notice the Tato for some reason. I was just so shocked that the, the band didn't go through. No idea how I'm going to beat this. I have zero clue how I'm going to beat this. And both my supports. <laughs> yeah. Oh, man. I don't know how I'm going to beat this. I'm going to lose too much stuff before I get a chance to beat it. I don't think... Um, what's his face comes out here. This is not what I expected to see people play because I uh, I've been watching like my clubmates play and this is not what I see. But at least it's a different person. If we're gonna get crushed. At least it's a different person this time. Because I'm I, I'm losing this one to the Tataru specifically. I can't beat the Tataru. Tataru's gonna get a hit in and I'm going to die. Just gonna try to disable this. Maybe I should have went for Nauseous Bomb on it while I could. Yeah, I probably should have done that, honestly. Yeah, that was a mess up. I should have went straight for it. Well, I could. Yeah, that did like absolutely nothing anyways. That actually did much more better damage there. And that's just a one shot, yeah. No, I think we lost. I can't beat this anymore. 100% can't beat it anymore. I don't really see how I'll beat it. Oh, he just does that.
I swear if a Schweinhort Tatter was about to lose it. Why did he... Does he not have Held Anger? It was what? Rage? Major Slash? Ashes Bomb? I got nothing going here. Garner couldn't take a single hit. Rough. Oh, right, Guardian. I completely forgot about that. Yeah, now I just lose my Platymus. Yeah. My Platymus gone, I kind of just lose. Oh. I have nothing for um, the Volfi or the Valash now. Well, I have, I have has refer for that, but that's not gonna really help me at all. Well, that's an interesting switch. Oh, that's crystal bite, right? Forgot about that. But yeah, I mean, there's not much else I can do here. Uh, I guess this team just doesn't work. That's okay. Cause I can't. I, I don't. I don't outspeed this thing like ever. Yeah, I don't outspeed it, sadly. And Soul Shot won't KO it, so... Even if I did go for it, wouldn't KO. But yeah, here I just lose. I can't do anything to, to them. I didn't see the Rage Tataru, so I was like, oh wait, Rage Tat was there. I didn't see that. But yeah, this doesn't work. This team doesn't work out. Not with what I'm seeing being played. I'm just glad it wasn't like the, the same guy afterwards, the guy like we fought in game two. That would have been terrible. <laughs> that would have been awful. If that's what we ended up fighting. But yeah. Oh well guys, that's going to be the end of the video. I get no feathers today for my winnings or anything, so it's fun. Uh I don't know. I honestly don't know what to do. Um in terms of time time, because competitive feels like it's dying. There's not much to do like not many players playing at once anymore not like before at least i would get like multiple people at, at night now I, I got the same i i bet you anything if i were to queue up right now i'd probably get one of one of those two guys like the other two people that i fought earlier so it's like it's it's really demoralizing being you know a content creator for competitive when there's really no one really playing it anymore it's just all that's left is all the people like the really 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 dedicated people which is not a lot it's like maybe 10 15 people and that's not at once that's maybe like two to three people every every few hours like parts of the day so it's it's kind of crazy honestly uh the team didn't work definitely didn't work i think it's probably just what's being played because i thought this would be 
I was expecting to see more natures, but I guess not. So this team was not able to do anything, sadly. So I think my number two team was much, much better into what I, I was seeing. I won a lot. I, I definitely won way more than I did with with that team. I mean, I didn't even win a single match with this one. So yeah, I don't think the team worked out. But that's okay. So I'm not going to give you the code for this one. Because I don't want you guys throwing your matches because of me. So I'm not going to give you the code like I usually do. Uh, but yeah. I mean, I, I'm going to continue trying to make videos for Temtem. Don't know how long that's going to last, guys. I honestly feel just fully demoralized. Like de demoralized playing this game right now. And I, I'm, I'm going to keep trucking. Just because I, I like making videos for you guys. But... It's hard. It's hard. It, it it really is. So, thank you guys for um watching the video. Uh, if you guys enjoyed, like, subscribe. There's not much else I can do, but hope you guys don't 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 abandon me because I just constantly lose. <laughs> but I mean, like I said, I'm I haven't played in a couple of weeks, so I don't know what's being played right now anymore. But anyways, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.